Looking back over the years since that first case in BC, uh, is there anything we should have done differently or should have done sooner? Well, thanks for the question, Vaughn. And uh, I, I suspect the answer was probably yes and yes. Uh, I don't have specific examples. Uh, I'm living in the moment in that sense. Uh, we are very proud of the work the professional public service has done to respond uh, sometimes in a number of days to initiatives that would normally take months to put in place. Uh, I'm very, very grateful to those frontline workers, not just our, our heroes in healthcare, but those on the front lines uh, when our supply chains were stretched, the truckers, uh, the people working in, uh, in food and beverage who kept going uh, to give some hope to people going forward. Uh, there will be, uh, I'm sure, reports uh, in the months ahead that will criticize and second guess uh, the, the steps that we've taken, and I, I take full responsibility for that. But at this point, uh, the reviews have been fairly positive. I don't want to anger Twitter, but uh, by and large, British Columbians appear to be satisfied with the direction we've gone. We've been as, as inclusive as we possibly can be with the business community, with labor, with not-for-profits, with Indigenous peoples. We've accelerated the level of, of uh, consultation that, uh, again, unprecedented. Uh, and that's because people are willing and prepared to put back, put aside uh, previous differences and focus on what they can do for their business, for their community, for their families. And, and at this point, I'd have to say we've uh, met the test, uh, but there will be examples. I'm sure, Vaughn, you may have in your supplementary question one of those examples. But for now, I'm pretty satisfied with the effort that's been put in, without a doubt. Uh, and uh, there will be examples over time, and we'll deal with those as they come up.